Hello. Around the world, a new wind turbine is built every half an hour. This new turbine will be able to power over 1,700 households, providing clean and reliable energy. This means that in the time it will take you to watch this video, over 500 new families will receive their electricity from wind power. This presentation aims to introduce you to some of the key figures of the wind energy market. In 2015, wind energy reached a new milestone, where over 60 gigawatts of new wind turbines were installed. That is over 20,000 new wind turbines installed, providing clean electricity to over 35 million families. The cumulative effect over the last 20 years is over 400 gigawatts of installed wind power capacity, with over 200,000 wind turbines installed, providing electricity to over 200 million households. And that is doubling of the capacity since 2010. Since 2010, there has been a change of the breakdown of wind power around the world. By 2010, the European Union had almost half of the worldwide installed wind power capacity. But since 2010, the fast growth by the United States of America and China has resulted in the current portfolio, where China has over 31% of all installed capacity, followed by the United States of America, Germany, and India. And in 2015, wind energy accounted for over 44% of new power capacity installations in the European Union, far more than any other technology. However, there is still a very large potential for growth. Although China has 31% of the world's installed capacity, China meets less than 3% of its needs through wind energy. This is also true for other countries such as India and the United States of America, that despite a large installed capacity and growth, still have a modest penetration of wind power. But how much wind power can we actually have with the current technology? Let's take a look at the example of several countries that have larger penetration of wind power. Spain and Portugal and Ireland currently supply between 20 and 25 percent of the electricity demand with wind power. And in Denmark, nearly 42 percent of the electricity demand in 2015 was supplied by wind power. These numbers show that the large growth of wind energy is still in its beginning. Overall, Less than 4% of the world's electricity is produced from wind, a factor 5 less than in Spain or Portugal, and a factor 10 less than in Denmark. Even achieving the average European power of 11% of penetration of wind energy would mean increasing the worldwide capacity by a factor of 3. Wind energy has shown to be a mainstream power technology, with the potential to supply a significant part of our electricity demands. Wind energy is expected to further growth, with new installed capacity increasing every year. As the cumulative installed capacity increases, Asia will become the largest market for wind, driven by increasing demand for clean power. As most of the world's population lives close to the coast, offshore wind energy is an attractive technological solution. Offshore, wind resources are more abundant leading to large capacity factors of the wind farms. The offshore location also decreases the impact of the not in my backyard effect, thus increasing the acceptance of wind energy. The growth of offshore wind energy is recent, with cumulative installed capacity growing by a factor of three during the last five years. This growth has occurred mostly in Northern Europe, in the coast of the UK, Germany and Denmark. With the advances in research and the growth of turbines, European offshore wind farms are predicted to grow in size, making offshore wind power a major player in renewable energy in the years to come. The growth of wind energy is driven by two factors. First, the clean need for a clean source of electricity, non-polluting and with limited political risks, since wind power is mostly produced nationally. Second, 
a continuous decrease of the cost of wind energy. The redu reduction of the cost of wind energy during the last three decades has been astounding by an order of magnitude. But even in the current phase of mature technology, the cost of wind energy continues to decrease. This chart shows the evolution of the cost of onshore wind energy in relation to 2009. In less than a decade, the cost of wind energy has increased by over 20%. Current estimates indicate that a further decrease of close to 30% by 2020, and by 2030, the cost of wind energy will be almost half of that what it was in 2010. The levelized cost of energy for onshore wind is currently at par with other ship sources of power, as are coal or gas. In some locations, abundant with wind, wind energy is already the cheapest source of energy, not requiring subsidies. Although offshore wind energy cost is still substantially higher, it has also experienced a significant decrease, with targets of over 30% decrease during the next decade. Today, we review some of the key numbers of the current scales of the wind energy market, including current trends, cost of energy, and forecasts for development. 